Hello everyone, this is Gabby and welcome back to my channel. Because today I was supposed to film a different video with a different topic, but I'm not feeling really good. I'm actually kind of sick, which is a bummer because I'm out of town at a lake, supposedly enjoying the last summer days and uh, this is not good. So I'm sorry about my face. So I decided to do a fun quick game, which is the name game book tag. I've seen this in a lot of booktube channels. I cannot tag the original video because I have no idea where it is, but I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna tag some booktube channels that I know. So this game is about naming one book for each letter of your name. My full name is Gabriela, so this is gonna be a little bit long. So the first is letter G. I'm gonna pick for this one Gabriela Clave Canela by Jorge Amado, which is a Brazilian author. And I haven't come around to read this book and I feel really guilty about it because my dad named me after this book. And I really want to read it at some point, but I haven't gotten around to pick it up for some reason. I'm a terrible daughter. For letter A, I'm gonna pick Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I actually read this book quite recently and I had a blast with it. I had a lot of fun. I loved the nonsense, absolute nonsense of this book. And I love Cheshire Cat. I, I just, I don't know. I was transported to this magical, whimsy world and full of like nothing makes sense whatsoever. And I just, it's so absurd that I just loved it. For letter B, this one was actually pretty hard because I haven't read a book with a letter B in a while. So for this one, I picked The Boy in the Strip Pajamas. I read it like years ago and I loved it. I haven't reread it in a while, but it impacted me a lot in that time because seeing the Second World War and, the, and its horrors from the eyes of a kid was really, really impactful. I left uh, that book with a sense of like absolute despair. For letter R, I'm gonna pick Rhythm of War by Brendan Sanderson. This book, I, I just finished it. I'm a Sander fan. I love the Stormlight Archive, so I don't think I have to explain why I picked this book. For letter I, I'm gonna pick The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by B. Ishraf. I recently read this book in December of 2020 and I absolutely loved it. It's an awesome book. It's, it's slow paced, but it's so character focused and the characters are so interesting, so complex, so relatable that I, I just couldn't stop reading it until I finished it. I really recommend this book. For letter E, I'm gonna pick Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. Yes, again. I think Elantris is one of my least favorite books by Brandon Sanderson, but it's still really good. I love his world building. I love his magic system. I love some of the characters. It's, it's just that it's his first book and it shows. And from that book, like to now, he has like improved so much as a writer, but yeah, I still love it. It's Brandon Sanderson. His storytelling is fantastic. For letter L, I'm gonna pick The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. It's from the Gentleman Bastard series, which is one of my favorite series of all time. I love that book. I love Locke Lamora's character and his friendship with John Tannen. The characterization of that book is amazing. This book has one of the best friendships I've ever seen in fiction. So I highly recommend it. I think it's a little bit underrated. I don't see so much talking about the lies of Loch Lamora and I hope it would be more. I'm actually planning to do a deep dive on this series at some point, hopefully soon. And for the last letter A, I'm gonna choose An Every Morning The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Backman. This is literary fiction. It's, oh my God, it has like a hundred pages. It's super short but it impacted me so much emotionally that I was, 
I cried from start to finish with this book. I don't know how to explain it because it's so sure that I'm, I, I would be spoiling it if I said anything about this book, but I really recommend it. It's beautifully written. I think this author knows how to get to you so hard. And I don't know, this book hurt me. So this was quick, I know. I hope you liked it. I'm gonna tag Ariel from Reading and Whatnot, Alison from Bookbench, uh, Brittany from Life is Like a Novel, Laura from the Reading Mushroom, and David from David's Book Reviews. I hope you guys do it because yeah, it's quick and it's a lot of fun. And if you want to stay tuned, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, ring the bell, and click on the subscribe button. I will be posting Mondays and Thursdays. Thank you guys and see you soon.